Start doing it together. If you're still working on it, that's fine. Top fraction or top numerator here. What's this one? Two. Two goes out of that. Okay. Two goes out of that. We get what? Five x plus two. Good. Did y'all get five x plus two? Okay. How about this numerator? What factors out of these two? Okay. Great. Sometimes that happens. How about this one? Does anything factor out of those two? Good. And I'm left with? Okay. We already might be seeing some things here, right? That's great. Now, last one we have is x squared minus 4. Some of the right-hand side of the room. What is that known as, x squared minus 4? Difference of squares. Say it louder. Difference of squares. Good. Different squares. And some over here has difference of squares factor in this particular case. Good. 2, right? Not 4. 2. Good. Are you starting to see the difference of squares a little bit easier? All right, I'm throwing them at you now, I'm just making sure you, you get this down. We've had like three or four today. Uh, so we really need to get those so they're not really stuck on them, that's why. Okay, great, we have this thing completely factored. The next step is to do what? Good, okay, let's try that. So one big fraction out of this, that's what I want to see. There's one thing here I need you to notice. If you make this one big <coughs> fraction here, notice you're multiplying, right? And this this top thing, it didn't have any parentheses, we could factor it, we didn't create any parentheses, but if you're going to multiply this, you do need to throw some parentheses around that. Do you see why? Multiplying that entire thing. Uh, this fraction implies parentheses here and here already, so we need to show that on, on the next step when we extend that fraction. So make sure you have those parentheses, that's going to allow you to simplify some things a little bit easier because you're going to see it. Now that we see it, what are you, what are you guys seeing here? Okay, somebody else give me another one besides 5x plus 2. 2, okay. Someone else give me another one if we have any. Do we have anything else? Okay, let's write what's remaining. Only thing we have on the numerator is what? 2. On the denominator, I see the x minus 2. We didn't cross that out. I see the x squared. Be careful not to lose that thing. We typically will do it this way, though. We'll write the x squared before the parentheses. Don't distribute it, you're done. That's as far as you can go. Do you feel okay about this example? Right. I'm going to have you do one on your own before we do another one together. And then we'll practice one more, if, and then we should have some time. And then we'll be done with our section. We'll go on to adding and subtracting. So try this one completely on your own. It is similar to the last one, which is good. So do this one on your own. If you get done with that, that's a 10, by the way. If you get done with that one, you feel like a superstar today, you feel like a rock star, you know, go ahead and try that one. 
By the way, is there any other homework to turn in? Are you at the beginning of class? Assignments going around. You should get, if you did all four, you should get all four today. We're about to get started on this. Look at the first one over here. Hey, before you factor, what should you do with this problem? Yeah, yeah that's right. Because we want to make sure we have that down. We don't want to forget about that. So we're going to flip the first, the second, or both, everybody. I said the second. Good. Okay, so we've gone ahead, we've reciprocated the second fraction. Now we get to factor because now we don't even have a division problem anymore. It's just multiplication. We just conquered that stuff. We're going to factor this. We're going to write it as one fraction. Then we'll simplify it. If you factor this correctly, what factors out of here is a 2. So you're going to get 5x minus 1. This other numerator, it doesn't factor. We're just going to leave that as x plus 3. This denominator, that's something special. We've seen this a few times now, even today. This is a difference of squares. That factors, it has to be two parentheses. It factors as, you put x and x there. You put what multiplies to get 9 here and here. You put a minus, you put a plus, you get x minus 3, x plus 3. Did you get that on your paper? Good, okay. The next thing we factor out is just an x. And we're going to get 5x minus 1. Before we go any further, before you start simplifying anything, crossing stuff out, even though I know we want to do it right here, just extend this line, put the dot and the dot, we need some parentheses around that thing, and now we're going to start simplifying. What I see up here is an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. I also see a 5x minus 1 and a 5x minus 1. I just don't want to forget the things that I haven't crossed out, such as the 2, that x particularly. A lot of people forget that x. We don't want to do that. The x we're going to write first, and then we'll have x minus 3. Would you raise your hand if you made it down that far? You got that? That's good. Good for you. Now, the next thing we're going to do, this one, very similar idea. It just has a little bit more complicated factor in it. But if you know how to factor these things, it's not a problem. So we're going to leave the first fraction alone. We are going to reciprocate the second. Tell me something up here that you need to factor. Would you tell me that? Yeah, we are going to factor that. How do you factor that problem? Okay, does this have the extra step or not, do you think? Absolutely. So we're going to factor that. <coughs> probably the hardest thing that we, to factor in this problem. We've got negative 10, we've got 24. The only things I'm thinking of make negative 10 and 24 are like 12 and 2. Or am I wrong? Oh, okay. It could do 12 and 2, right? But it's not going to work out to add to that. You can't do it. So you're going to have to have two negatives here. 
that multiply the positive 24 and add a negative 10. So don't trick yourself up on doing stuff like 12 and 2. Even though those are the first numbers popped in my head, you really do have to check. So negative 6, negative 4. We're going to write 3x squared minus 6x minus 4x plus 8. So we're getting that from over there, just like we've done several times before. Factoring by grouping says we're going to factor out 3x. We're going to factor out a negative 4 which is going to change the signs inside of our parentheses on the second part of this thing. We have done it right. We'll continue to factor that. And that right there is our new numerator. I know 21 doesn't factor, but the other two should factor. What factors out of my 7x minus 14? So we're going to get x minus 2. The other thing we're going to factor out is a 3. We'll get 3x minus 4. And now we can start the good part of simplifying some common factors. By the way, how many people were able to make it down that far? I know we give some time on that. Oh, that's fantastic. Very good. We'll extend our line, put the dot dot. Can you tell me something up here that simplifies? Good. Completely gone. Anything else that simplifies? 7 and 21. 7 and 21, okay. 7 becomes a 1. 21 becomes a 3. What else? 3, 3, 3. Yeah, the 3s. They actually, you keep going on that, right? So we got a common factor of 3 still. 3 and 3. Anything else? X minus 2. Wait a second. We just crossed out everything. We got 1. Yeah. We don't have 0. Okay, we don't have 0. What you have here are. You made lots of factors of 1, right? So basically you have 1 times 1 times 1. That's just going to make 1 for us. You have 1's on the top, you have 1's on the denominator. We're going to get 1. Okay, I want you to do all, 1 all the way down by yourself. And then we'll call it a day today. Well, maybe not. You might have some time. Oh, but there are some homework problems I do want to go over with you, so we'll do that. This, this is all you. You guys got to do this one. 